1.3 real numbers now let's recap what rational numbers are so rational number is a number which can be represented in p by q form where q not equal to 0 now irrational numbers are those which can't be represented in p by q form now we have put the definition in a different way like any decimal number which is non terminating and non repeating would be an irrational number because it can't be represented in p by q form now just imagine the number line would there be any number which would be non rational and non irrational no right because all the numbers in the number line can be represented as both being rational or irrational now let's try and understand what a real number is a real number is combination of both rational plus irrational so all the numbers which are real would be either rational or irrational now it covers the entire number line fantastic so let's move on to example 9 find two irrational numbers between 1 by 5 and 2 by 7 um, it's it's a very simple process now we'll need to represent both 1 by 5 and 2 by 7 in decimal form 1 by 5 clearly is uh, 0 0.2 now we'll have to divide and find out what 2 by 7 is as 2 is less than 7 we'll have to take 20 over here 7 2 times would be 14 now this will be 60 7 8 56 this will be 40 7 5 35 this will be 50 7 7 49 this will be a 10 7 1 7 this will be a 30 7 4 28 now we get a 20 now if you carefully observe this is where we have started now which means this will be a repeating decimal or in other words we will have to write this as 2 by 7 is equal to 0 0.28 5714 bar now we'll have to write two irrational numbers between these two numbers it's a very simple process because we'll have to write two decimals which are non terminating and non repeating so we'll have to write something like 2011453892 1 so this will be a one irrational number and similarly we can write 0 0.25232145667 so if, if you carefully observe the examples of irrational numbers would be non-repeating decimal numbers let's move on to example 10 in the next video thanks for watching